hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today i created this look for you guys yes you feel me like look at that blue tell me it's not popping are you mad are you mad so we're gonna start off with rose water i'm using this to you know prep my face because it's looking a bit dry then i go in with baby oil because i don't know it makes my skin feel soft i then go in with aloe vera gel to kind of set it all in place and i think for me aloe vera gel acts like a primer so i mean just yeah look, look at it it's not pop it's glowing it's glowing, it's glowing. so yes we're gonna use aloe vera gel eyebrows already done did the off camera i used um pure beige and fun mixed it together and got that consistency and i just used any eyebrow pencil like it doesn't really matter so now i'm prepping my eyes um with that concealer i'm gonna blend it all in make sure to blend well like if you don't blend well it's gonna crease and then you want to set it with like a setting powder so the one i'm using is called neutral light by... it'll be down in the description box i'm using dark 375 sleek contour palette and i'm going to use this as my transition color i'm just using a darker transition color because I'm going to be applying blue next and blue is a dark color as we know so going in with the 35b palette by morphe as you can see i'm going in with that blue and i'm packing it on my crease as well just trying to build you know a bit of intensity and just to make the colors you know appear more vibrant i'm then gonna cut my crease using the mixture of the concealers that i mentioned previously and i'm sure you guys have heard everyone say this put it on, put it on your lid look up and there your crease is coughing all you have to do is just follow the outline and whatnot so yeah so i'm just as you can see one, one, two, and then we're going to use those two colors we're going to pat it in the inner is it inner corner guys i'm not good with names you like I'm just not good with names like we're just gonna pat this okay we're gonna use blue and make that nice gradient to that nice transition can you see can you see what's popping okay so we're using MAC medium um oh shit I forgot the name of it but it'll be down in the description box and we're using glitter from where was it from from ebay so I'm gonna apply the mixing medium by MAC yes that's the name of it I'm gonna use a clean angle brush and pack the glitter on and you wanna take your time with this because if you don't the glitter will appear like all like mushed up and it won't look nice trust me so yes yeah, just take your time nobody's rushing you feel me just relax and then we're going in with that blue again and we're gonna make this gradient appear more even vibrant so it goes from like beige to dark blue glitter to navy so yeah just finishing off the gradient by applying like a navy and a black color and um, to my outer crease just to complete the whole look and to make it look nice so now we're going in with that brown and we're just gonna blend everything as you can see here yeah, it's not really blended well like you can see my concealer you can see like the line of demarcation as they like to call it but yes we're gonna fix that later so i'm using the revolution eyeliner i'm just gonna you know do a simple i'm just gonna align my um my lids i don't know but yes so we're we're kind of blending that line of demarcation even though it got cut out of the camera frame and now we're done with the eye look so i'm just i was tapping any excess glitter i went in with the mario badescu facial spray this spray smells disgusting you it smells like I'm just I'll save that to myself. So we're gonna use coffee by LA Girl um, Foundation. This thing looks like skin on my face. I'm not even joking with you guys. Can you see that? Like it looks like skin. So I'm using that mixture of foundation of um, concealers, fawn and pure beige, and I'm using that to conceal my under eye, cupid's bow, nose, chin, everything. And I'm using I think this is called dark mocha, I think and i'm using this to you know contour and this is by black opal it's called suede mocha guys suede mocha no um black mocha or whatever i said so i'm just leaving that to you know become tacky and then i blend it 
at the end of the day. So using neutral light, I'm going to be setting those um, parts of my face which I highlighted. So yeah, so you're going to take your time with this or it can appear ashy. Take your time. Like I said, nobody's rushing you. Take your time. So carefully dusting everything and blending everything and making everything seem like you know flawless and whatnot. We're going to use like a powder brush to do that first. Then we're going to use like a little blending brush to just you know blend it further, you know, just to make it look nice. So I applied mascara on. I also used a darker navy blue to kind of like um eyeline my you know my waterline. I'm using the Sleek Trio blush palette. Um, I don't know the name of this, but yeah, I'm just I'm using the blush. I'm using the Golden Afterglow by MUA. It's actually really nice, guys. And I think it's only like three pounds, so invest, fun invest. So yeah, so we're applying this to the face. You know what I'm saying? And underneath the eyebrow or the brow bone, as they like to call it, and my nose, my cupid's bow, my everything, everywhere, you know, everywhere. Looks nice. And then you want to set it with the Mario Badescu spray. Yeah. And okay, the look is complete, but now we're gonna focus on hair. This hair's from AliExpress. I actually forgot. Um, I completely forgot, like, you know, where it's from. No, I'll have it linked in the description box below. I should, I should still find it in my AliExpress. Um, at the things I purchased. So we're gonna apply water. Then we're gonna apply the Shea Moisture Extra Moisturizer, whatever they wanna call it. You don't have to spend your money on that. Okay, get something cheaper like the Cantu Coconut Curling Cream, whatever. And then you wanna use oil, you know, to make everything look nice and juicy. You know, you wanna make this curls look juicy. And then obviously gel your baby hair or gel anything you want. And that's the look, guys. You feel me? Look at this. Nice. It's I think this is probably one of my best looks I've done. <laughs>